I was scrolling through my Instagram stories and came across a post that, uh, from someone I follow on there who was from Chicago and saw this post that was basically talking about something that I have not talked about on my channel in quite some time. I've mentioned it, but I haven't talked about it because I didn't hear about it. And then I went on to Google and just typed Chicago in and just pulled up some news articles and it led me to this one that was posted about a day or two ago. And they are bringing it back up again, where they're saying that even during, but basically even during a pandemic, that there is still a lot of school shootings and gun violence going on in Chicago. Before I even get into this article, to my Chicago supporters, have you heard even one peep about gun violence happening in Chicago in the last week or two? Because I need confirmation. Because I don't believe this. Remember what I was always saying? How it's always around a holiday weekend where they will bring something like this up. What weekend just passed? Easter. Easter just passed. And now this pops up. But it's confusing to me. Like, how is this happening? All this happening right now and nobody's really outside like that. Like that's that's the confusing part. And and let me be honest, when it comes to something like this, even international news like CNN or MSNBC, especially since they have now dumped the whole oh Chicago has a very high rate of African-Americans that are most likely to get the virus. Wouldn't you think they would have slipped in that thing about the gun violence in Chicago in there? Not once did they even do that. So the thing is, where is this even coming from? But I'm going to go ahead and read this this lie that was posted by The Guardian, because I do not believe this whatsoever. The, the virus pandemic has forced Chicago into lockdown, closing restaurants, bars, stores and even its celebrated lakefront. But the crisis hasn't slowed the city's devastating gun violence epidemic. While crime overall has tickled, has ticked down slightly amid shelter in place orders from local leaders, shootings and murders have remained fairly consistent so far when the city registering more shootings in March this year than the previous year. I need confirmation to my people who are in Chicago. Please let me know. Have you heard any of what I'm talking about right now? During the first weekend of April, two were killed and 18 were wounded, mostly on the city's predominantly black. And brown, south, and west sides. What did they just say about what's going on in Chicago right now with this virus? Who's mostly affected? Now they come up with this. Like, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. On Tuesday, as unseasonably warm temperatures in Chicago rose to the 80s, the city's endured its most violent day of 2020 with at least 21 shot, including a five year old girl and six killed. Um, like I said, if all of this was happening like they claim that it is, this would have made international news like they've done with all the other ones that I believe were extremely fabricated. It's no surprise that the Chicago PD up there is corrupt. Like I said, they are in my top five most corrupt police departments ever in the establishment known as the United States of America. Violence of any kind is never acceptable. The mayor, Lori Lightfoot, said at a news conference this week decrying the violence. But the fact that this is especially urgent right now as our ability to treat all Chicagoans is being stretched to the breaking point. We cannot allow this to happen and we will not allow this to happen. This is coming from the same woman that just signed an executive order to allow illegal immigrants to get set aside. We know where your allegiance lies. The ongoing violence in America, third largest city, puts additional strains to a health care system, struggle to combat the novel virus and could be exaggerated by the pandemic that has dramatically altered life in the city for the foreseeable future. Anger, frustration, and depression doesn't get put on hold while there's a pandemic going on, said Pastor Michael Flager of St. Sabina on the city's south side. It's still there and it's heightened right now. All it does is heighten the reality of neglect. Uh, the, uh, the virus has brought to the fore 
the existing racial disparities in Chicago with black residents representing a majority of the virus deaths in the city in Cook County. Experts fear that the health and economic impacts of the pandemic may worsen the structural conditions that feed the violence issues, compounding the city's already pronounced race and class inequalities. Are you hearing what they're saying? Effectively, what they're saying is the more and more this virus continues to hit and ravage through black communities, the more and more violence is going to come out of these communities. I'm sure that's almost what they want. And then you know what happens after that. They just be looking for a reason to really go after black people like that, especially in Chicago. But I really need some confirmation about this. Somebody in Chicago, please let me know that this is all a lie that I'm reading right here. I think there's going to be a lasting impact even beyond the direct public health impact of the virus said max kaputzen senior researcher at the university of chicago crime lab the continued violence comes as hospital in chicago like new york and other communities across the u.s that have been hit hard so far by the outbreak grapple with a pandemic that has stretched their limited resources Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker has warned that intensive care unit beds are filling up quickly and that the state needs more ventilators as the total number of confirmed virus cases here rises above 15,000 and its test, I'm sorry, and its death toll near 500. Every one of those beds, ha every one of those ER beds taken up by a gunshot victim could be somebody's grandmother, somebody with pre-existing conditions, somebody that is in danger of losing their lives because of the pandemic. Charles Beck, the city's interim police chief, said in a news conference with Lori Lightfoot. There are two pandemics in Chicago, Beck said, and only one is virus induced. I'm sure they love to hear that as well. I'm sure they love to hear that. So yet again, as you can see, Chicago is now about to be a focal point yet again with alleged gun violence i'm like and it's such a shame because it's a lot of people who look like us who will fall for that unfortunately because they literally eat sleep and breathe and internalize whatever lamestream media has negatively to say about us at Mount Sinai Hospital in Douglas Park on Chicago's west side, one of the most busiest trauma centers in the, in the establishment, dueling crisis of the virus and gun violence have stretched staff and resources. Even for longtime medical professionals at the facility on the front line of the city's violence epidemic. I'm amazed by it, said Michelle Mazurik, chief nurse officer and vice president of patient care services. We're used to trauma patients here the virus is almost like its own trauma itself. The continued gun violence has forced the hospital to put in place its surge plan with educators, nurse practitioners, and Missouri herself providing patient care at the hospital. The influx sometimes is incredible, Missouri said. It is stretching on our emergency room. Mount Sinai officials said it has been able to maintain a high level of care despite the obstacles thanks to the effort of the staff, but they said the situation has already taken a toll on its health care workers. I've been a nurse since 1993, Missouri said. This has been the hardest experience I've ever lived through. As of Wednesday, Chicago has seen a reported 550 shootings in 2020. I need confirmation on that as well. Up from 64 from last year. That number will probably continue to grow, particularly as the weather warms into the summer months when violence in the city tends to spike. Unfortunately, the epidemic of gun violence continues to plague us every day, every hour of the day. And this is coming from Lori Lightfoot. This level of violence is never acceptable. Never, ever. That sounds like a, a, a bowl of BS. It really does. I guess all I have to say is see y'all at Memorial Day when they post another one of these type of articles because that's going to be the next big holiday. And you know, they, they really go in it. When the summer months come, they really go in. And I think their favorite is the 4th of July. They, oh, they go all the way in to spread all kind of fallacies about that. But I need all kinds of confirmation from what I just read from anybody who uh, listens to me who lives in Chicago or in that area because I do not believe any of what that article stated none of it but y'all let me know what y'all think and i'll talk to you in the next one have your notifications turned on follow me on twitter